Angular momentum. Angular momentum is obtained by multiplying a body's mass by its angular velocity. This means that a single body can have two types of angular momentum. For example, planetary bodies such as Earth have a first momentum that is calculated from this result of its its motion in relation to the sun and the and then an additional momentum calculated from the velocity of its spin on its own axis. The smaller the body is, the faster it will spin when it is uh, being moved as a consequence of angular momentum. This explains why figure stickers spin much faster when they are low to the ground and when their arms are wrapped around themselves compared compared to the compared to when they are in a standing tall with arms wide open. So here we have a, a mass of uh, 20, 20 kilogram and it's spinning it means and it's uh, omega is spinning at 20 radiant 20 radiant per second and uh, the radius for this object is is a uh, is four meters, and uh, so we have to find we have to find the angular momentum. So the angular momentum. So the formula for angular momentum was L equals inertia times omega. So here we have the um, omega, but inertia we don't have the inertia. So and instead we got mass and radius. So with the rest, uh, mass and radius, we could find the inertia. So to find the inertia, we need another formula like inertia equals one one to second uh, times mass times radius square. So this is the formula for inertia, finding inertia. So it's equal to one two or mass is twenty. It's time times radius. Radius is four square. So when we hit that, so uh, we will divide this to with something like ten times. So when we uh, get this, so it's a uh, sixteen, and when we sixteen times ten, one sixty. 160 kilogram meters squared so the our initia so we found out the initia and now we will put that in the first formula like an uh, L uh, angular momentum equals uh, initia times omega so angular momentum our initia we found is 160 so 160 times uh, 160 times so our object was spinning at speed of 20 radiant per second 20 radiant per second so it's uh, it's equal to like a 160 times uh, 160 it's 32,200 so this is our angular momentum for this example so in this example we have uh, an object and it's uh, spinning like uh, we have we have uh, like we have the angular momentum angular momentum it has angular momentum of 80 kilograms kilogram meters squared and it's changing from 80 80 kilogram meters me, meter kilogram meters squared to 120 kilogram meters squared and uh, in suppose in four seconds four seconds and so we have to find out that uh, what is the net torque I mean the uh, how much forces are acting on this system I mean the net, net torque is undefined so we have to find so the things that we have is just two 
two are like a one angular momentum and two angular momentum and we have time so when we have a when we have two two values for one unit so we understand there there has to be something delta and for finding the torque there's a formula like a torque equals delta angular momentum divided by angular divided by delta delta t so this is our velocity this is our uh, formula for this problem we could solve this problem with this uh, formula so we'll go ahead like uh, so it means so we have two so I mean so the final final angular velocity divided uh, minus 80 and divided by 4 4 seconds so when we divide these two so it's 40 divided by 4 4 cancel with 4 and we have the so our net our torque is equal to uh, 10 newtons times meter so this is our final answer so in this example we have uh, we have suppose we have a rod and it's attached to a, it's attached to the wall and uh, the diameter of this I uh, mean the length of this object I mean this rod is a uh, is four meters and there is a force acting on this rod which is a uh, which is 500 newtons and and this uh, force is acting on this rod for 10 seconds so this is the T and suppose so this is the force that is acting on this and this is the this is the the radius the uh, or the length of this thing this uh, rod so for this we have to find out the final angular momentum that how much is the angular final angular momentum for this we have to uh, we have a formula like a the a net torque net torque uh, equals delta angular momentum divided by delta t so with this example we could find the the final angular momentum for this for the system so before that so we have the time but we don't have the angular momentum and in as well as we don't have the the torque so we have to find out the torque so for finding torque we have another formula uh, like uh, torque equals fourth times the uh, fourth times radius of radius of this rod so we have like a torque is equal the force is 500 newtons times 4 meters so when these two multiplies the torque is equal to 500 it's 220 it's 20 newton meter so this is the torque so and now we will hit the torque in this formula so we will we first we have to kind of uh, make this formula a little bit simple like uh, the torque is equal to so the delta angular momentum we know that it's a it's a final angular momentum div, uh, minus initial angular momentum divided by t so it's got a little bit simple and now we will uh, uh, like uh, let me write that down here so it's equal to angular final angular momentum initial angular momentum divided by t so we have to uh, we have to multiply both side with t like uh, with t will get rid of the t so the t will go there and torque times t torque times t equal to final angular momentum minus initial angular momentum so here we have like a 
so this rod is in a stationary position so we don't have to so the initial angular momentum will be zero because it's in a stationary position due to that so and then now we will do something like bring this here final angular momentum equals to torque times t that mean times the time so this is our formula so now we will put that the, all the values that we have in this formula we will we will get the final angular momentum so final angular momentum equal the torque is uh, we found that it's 2000 times the time we got is 10 seconds Ten. so obviously it's something torque equals 20 it's a uh, 2 2000 20,000 so yeah the angular final angular momentum 